team. Here we go. A little coffee refresher. So everybody's got their hand grinder. Fill that up. Put your beans in there to the top. You're going to grind that out. And you're just going to take it out. And you're going to have exactly 25 to 27 grams of coffee. All right? And that's perfect for making your Chemex coffee. Today we're going to do Chemex. So you've got a scale. You've got your little Chemex. And what you're going to do is stick it on here. Then you're gonna you're gonna tear this machine to zero, so it's at zero. Then you've got one of these filters. A little trick I like to do is open it up and stick my hand in there. Then we go over here. We make it wet. And the reason why we do that is because we want to get those nasty chemicals off. All right, shake that thing out. Woo! We stick that in. Okay, that adds a little weight. We'll tear that again. Now. Ground your coffee. Okay, we're gonna dump the coffee into here like this. This should get us between 25 and 35 grams. Uh, looks like I've got 30, right down the middle. And then what I like to do, a little pro tip here, I take this, I shake it, just a little shimmy, shimmy shake, or whatever. I put that there, and that makes it nice and level. Then I take this and I put it back to zero. Now. We're going to do this in the next two and a half to three and a half minutes. We're going to make this cup of coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit start on the little timer on the left-hand side. And we're going to dribble in water. Come look, check this out. See how I'm just dribbling? I'm being soft with it, being nice. All right? And we're just doing this. And what we're doing is we are blooming the coffee. And we want to do about double the weight. So about 60 grams of water. Remember, it was 30 grams of coffee. And that's what I'm doing in the first 30 seconds. So now I'm at 26, 27, 28, and here we go. All right, now I'm going to do nice little pour in a circular fashion, slowly, not too much, careful not to hit the edges. You see that, how it's making a nice little mushroom top? All right, I'm going to do this up to 200 grams, boom, of water, all right? I went a little over, don't get too, like, you know, stressed, you know, don't want to have, have your day go into a tizzy because you went to 205 versus 200, you, you get the idea. And we're gonna let that go until about a minute to a minute 15. And it's dripping through, you see the nice little flow through. Now I'm at a minute and three, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the rest of the water, which is, I'm gonna go from 200 to 350 grams of water. Every cup of coffee has 350 grams of water. All right, here we go, I'm at 345. Now this you don't want to go over, all right? You don't want to go under either. So I am at 352. That's okay, you can go over like that much. We don't want to go. Now, we're gonna let this just drip, 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 drip. And when this is done, I'm getting down here and getting my bird's eye view. Probably another 45 seconds, so you can turn this video off if you want, or you can just keep watching me watch this because I'm waiting for that to stop being a steady stream and to become like raindrops, like thick, thick raindrops. And it's gonna happen sometime in the next probably 30 to 45 seconds. Boy, I would love to be putting like a commercial ad in here. You know, hey, about dot me, the big picture of you. <laughs> Something like that. Um, anyways, by now, I'm sure that you're just riveted and you cannot wait to go make your first Chemex. You can go on the bluebottle.com, uh, bluebottlecoffee.com site, and you can buy your Chemex. Um, I think these cost like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. Um, they're beautiful. I use it also as a water pitcher sometimes at home. It's fantastic. I don't know, something really is kind of cool about it. Um, and now we're getting into this period where it's about ready to start, you know, dripping. So tell oh there it is see the raindrops we're done now we do this pull this off throw this away compost that's what we do here voila now you have some coffee oh one last thing do this if you're still here bonus tip just not two don't get like crazy just like a few things like this all you're doing is you're mixing up the bitterness with the, the more normal texture of the coffee and now you're ready and you can drink that whenever you want